What's up, Sportman family? It's your boy, Sportman, and welcome back to another Market Watch. Today, we're going over some cards that are going down in the market. Obviously, balance season is right around the corner, and a lot of things are, well, in a wayward uh, way right now. People not sure where to price certain cards. They're pricing certain cards down, certain cards up. Um, so, very confusing time right here in the Yu-Gi-Oh! market, especially when balance season is around. Um, and we are aware that balance season is, uh, well, coming in the next few days, if not today. Um, so, we're going to talk a lot of cards that you should be picking up at least right now while they're down the market especially since you know those cards could be seen as something to value later on in the future here um so yeah little risk reward game we're playing here but uh i think uh we'll rather take the risk to see the little profit gain here uh moving forward as well here in the market um so first card we're going over today is red lowest king flame crime this card was about 15 16 dollars if i'm not mistaken yeah in july so this card was a pretty high up there in price and now has gone down since then it's around five six seven dollars so i mean personally i would pick it up especially since it was at a really high price point at one point i think things have cooled down but i expect things to be you know picked up in the right direction especially since this card's not a bad card uh you know it's used in rda but uh you know a lot of other decks could possibly use this card as well so just keep that in mind moving forward as well um apollosa obviously a lot of things have been going or being said about apollosa getting banned here in the upcoming balance i'm gonna be honest with you i know i have a 50 50 way about this card of it getting banned not getting banned i understand both sides of the the scene here but i'll be honest with you i think it's going to miss this ban list and probably be on the next one but if it does hit this one i mean i apologize for telling you to pick it up but here's the thing there's a lot of risk and rewards picking up certain cards i think the risk for this card is going to be more beneficial because i think even though it, if it gets banned on this ban list season i think the price point doesn't move too much down that it makes this card you know pretty much useless in the terms of monetary value i think you know obviously i think this card um is going to skip this ban list so i think the risk is worth taking at 25 dollars at least that's what's being sold at right now around that price 25 23 24 dollars yeah so you know i'd rather take the little risk and pick it up while it's down the market especially since if it doesn't get banned you're gonna see that price go all the way up everybody i'm not gonna lie to you it's, it's, it's a really sneaky pickup this one um uh, sprite blue um you know a lot of the ultimate rares at ots packs have just been uh well steadily declining um and sprite blue is a really good card so you know i would just be aware of that as well you know 10 11 dollars is worth the risk as well i mean i'm gonna be honest with you if this uh ends up being a really good deck again or you know cards that surround this card being good uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, ten, eleven dollars is gonna look pretty cheap for an ultimate rare for Sprite Blue. So I uh, definitely recommend picking one up, uh, especially on the downward end of things. I mean, this was uh, around twenty, twenty-five dollars, not even like last, like, yeah, a few weeks ago. So I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, pick it up. It's, it's not a bad pickup right now. Uh, Queen Dragoon Jin. Okay, so we have a lot of dragon decks doing, doing its thing very soon. So this is another sneaky pickup that I recommend picking up towards the near future. Um, you know, if you're looking at Nearman First Edition, you're still looking around three, four dollars for this card. Um, I think it's a really good price point. It's never been reprinted, so it only has that one printing of this card in Galactic Overlord. So just be aware of that as well. Um, just a good sneaky pickup, just to have in your back pocket. You never know if this card could be seen as something well better, you know, in the near future as well. Um, favorite contact. Obviously, we're getting a lot of hero support very soon, so a lot of hero tech cards are going up in price. This one is a uh, well trending kind of downwards in a way. So I would actually pick it up while it's on the downward end of things you know it's not a bad card it's from your power of elements uh you know set so not too long ago but again really good card nonetheless and good to have in your back pocket in case it does go up here in the near future um the grass looks greener now i'm not telling you pick up this card but this is just something i want to you know put on your radar just because we're doing market watch this card has gone up in price a lot everybody it was around 10 11 dollars we're looking at a price point well 18 19 dollars once this heavy play gets uh taken but if we're looking at near mint first edition for the most part you're looking at 20 dollars for this card now so uh the gr that grass looks greener has gone up from raging tempest and uh, it's uh, well, it's looking to even go up more in price, especially if you run like a mill type of deck. Maybe if you run like a light sworn deck or any type of mill deck, this you know does well for it. So um, just be aware that this card, if you do have it, you know somewhere laying around, 
it's it's going up it's going up and if you may want to sell it uh rather sooner than later um punishment dragon you know we talked about punishment dragon being at 25 30 dollars at one point or close to there uh, yeah close to there at one point uh well now it is very much more affordable than once where it was once at at ten dollars so uh you know just another pickup if you just want another you know card in your back pocket obviously we don't know if this card's getting a reprint whether it be in the newest tins bonanza or another set coming down the line um obviously this card is used very much in light swarms um and uh well light swarm hasn't been doing too much you know talking about here in the meta but i'll be honest with you it's uh it's still a relevant deck nonetheless. People still do use it, and it, it, it does come here in, like, second, third place every now and then that I see in, like, YouTube deck profile videos. So, you know, just be aware of that as well. So, um, we'll see what happens in the upcoming balance if uh, <laughs> Light Swarms are able to get used a little bit more as well. But Punishment Dragon at $10, especially where it was once at, is a pretty good pickup as well. Um, Grave Keeper's Inscription. You know, this was a 6 $7 card, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, um, you know, now that it's down to about $2, another good pickup as well. The, the effect is really good. It's from Fortune Harper Nova, so not too long ago. It might get reprinted in the newest tins. I think that's why it's probably down here in the market as well. But just keep in mind, even if it gets reprinted in the newest tins, it's still a really good card. It's still one to just keep in your back pocket as well. And if it doesn't get a reprint, well, you look pretty good in moving uh, forward in the future here with this card possibly going back up in price as well. Um, Fiendsmith Tract. Obviously, the Fiendsmith tech cards are really, really good right now, right? We're talking about Fiendsmith Graver, Fiendsmith Tract. You know, all these Fiendsmith cards are doing its thing in other decks that are making it very viable, very well, relevant, prevalent in the in the meta. And, uh, well, it, it's, it's disgustingly uh, making other decks, like, too powerful at this point. Um, so... I will be honest with you, depending on how this balance goes, Fiendsmith Tract could actually go up in price as well. Now, can it go up up in price like drastically? Mm, maybe not drastically, but it will definitely go up from $9. I'm going to be honest with you here. Um, $8, $9 is very cheap for a card that, you know, is seen in a lot of play as well. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, right now they use like one Fiendsmith Tract in their, their deck. They might bump that up to two or even three. Um, so, you know, depending on how things go in this ban list, you might see this card actually increasing in price because the demand for having more copies may be there as well. Um, Dual Academy. Now, I'm telling you, pick this one up. The Collector. Now, Man, I, I, you know, I, the collector rare market is very weird and also very tricky. However, there are certain cards in the collector rare market that I do think that is worth picking up, especially at a low price point. Dual Academy of what it represents is the GX location. You know, it just looks beautiful of a card that, you know, you're getting to see the whole island itself of, you know, Dual Academy. And at a collector rare for 4 or $5, everybody... Are you kidding me? That's like a sneaky good pickup. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, especially if you see some voice actors in the GX era if you want them to sign this card. I mean, that's pretty cool as well for a 4 or $5 card for Dual Cami, especially being a more high rarity card where Collector Rare, you know, was once a really high rarity card. Um, you know, I still consider it a, a pretty good high rarity card for the most part, but, you know, I know a lot of things have changed since, you know, the rarity collection, everything like that as seen as collector rares being high rarity cards so we'll see what happens in the near future with that rarity but i'll be honest with you everybody for four or five dollars dual academy is not a bad pickup and especially on your mark get set dual is another good pickup i mean you have you say and trudge here in the picture it's a really cool uh picture and art design as well and for seven six seven eight dollars it's not a bad pickup as well i'm not gonna lie to you both collector rares both really nice copies to have in your binder um obviously i don't know if it's going to be very much used in the future in terms of you know the playability of those cards but i just see as though of uh, collectability value if you do want to pick that up um synchro zone if you use a synchro deck mainly of just consistently using of synchro cards this might be a good card for you actually so read the effect maybe you want to pause the video check it out it's actually a pretty nasty card um as you can see it has gone up and down here in the price market but i expect this one to you know do pretty well for itself if the synchro uh you know decks do pretty well for itself moving forward in the market or just in general in the meta in the game itself so just keep that in mind as well um firewall dragon is just another sneaky pickup as well obviously that's another cybers card cybers cards have been going up but also this is an ultimate rare and ultimate rare that's very much down here in the market as well i would just recommend picking up a lot of ultimate rares that are in ots pack that are down in market right now because i mean obviously they're just good things to have in your binder you never know when they can become prevalent relevant again and um you know 
again, it, it's just good stuff to have in your binder, especially Deco Talker. You know, another card that's in the OTS pack that is down here in the market. Another Cybers card as, as well. So, you know, just keep all those things in mind. You know, you just want to have those good, like, cheap pickups right now as well to just have because the profit and gain, the value of these cards can be seen as very much high in the near future as well. Um, and then I just wanted to cover one one thing here is Core Century Bonanza. Um, obviously, there's a lot of talk about the set being like really amazing obviously i'm very excited for this set as well i think it's going to be a pretty decent set to be honest with you um now there is a lot of price differences in a lot of different places right now you know i'm looking at terra zero i'm looking at all these other places they're valuing this at around 120 dollars 100 dollars for a booster box gamers has it for 87 dollars right now i think that is an incredible price if you're not picking one up for this price i think you're going to miss out i think it's going to be one of the better you know, and I say Rarity Collection 3 because it's basically what it is. It is going to be one of the better Rarity Collections um, since we've only had, I guess, three in the past year, I guess. But we, this is going to be one of the better ones as well. Definitely better than Rarity Collection 2, in my opinion. But I see a lot of people um, talking about, you know, picking this one up and... I, I, if you're trying to pick it up, pick it up from here because you're going to get a good early cheap price on it if I'm being co completely honest with you. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the near future with this one as well. What cards are being you know, you know, know, released from this set, what type of QCRs we're getting. I'm hoping for Time Wizard. I'm hoping for some like maybe some Elemental Hero QCRs. It would be nice to have some of those cards uh, before you know the QCR era ends here and uh, the 25th anniversary that is. Um, but yeah, we're hoping for good stuff for the Bonanza set, but I'm hoping, like I said, for Time Wizard, that'd be so cool. Someone skull some of those old classic cards, especially since we're getting a nostalgia type of set here as well in this one. Um, but all good things uh, for Bonanza. Um, good price point here. Just definitely check out Game Nerds if you definitely want a good deal. And then obviously Retro Pack comes out this Friday, so just be aware of that as well. Um, I don't think it's going to be available at your OTS store just because it says available at mass market retailers. So I'm guessing maybe at your Target, your GameStops, your Walmart. I don't know if it's going to be available at your o OTS stores. Um, you can ask, obviously, that maybe they are having them. But, you know, this does tell a lot, especially it says, you know, available at mass market retailers. Usually it says, you know, both OTS and, you know, stores. But uh, I don't know if they're going to be available at your OTS store. So just be aware that I would ask as well if they're available at your local one. Um, but that's about it for this market watch. I hope you guys enjoyed. For mutually, Sparkman, leave your comments down below. I want to hear what you have to say. But please subscribe, like, comment, and peace out, YouTube.